Hello, welcome to Handmade by Julie Quinn. I uh, hope you're having a lovely time today, that you're healthy and well. We have beautiful sunshine at the moment, but not sure how long it will last. Today, my project I'm sharing with you is this little tent card that stands up on your desk but also can be a card. It folds flat to fit into an envelope. So you can use it as a card, but it also is great. It's a great design I use when I do little mini catalogues as well. Ah, uh, not catalogues, what am I talking about? Calendars, little mini calendars as well, this little tent fold. And it is featuring this gorgeous bundle crafting with you. Let's have a look at it in the catalog. Here it is. It's on page 91 of the catalog. And it has gorgeous crafty imagery and coordinating, <coughs> excuse me, dies. And the projects that they've shown you to inspire you are really, really lovely. I hadn't really looked at them very closely until today. And I'm looking at them now going, oh, I think I'd love to make that and that and that. Isn't it great that our catalogue has so much inspiration? In fact... It's my mum's 80th birthday coming up in a couple of weeks, and this is so her. A ball of wool in a basket, I think. That is going to be the starting point for the card for my mum's 80th birthday. So watch this space. I might be able to share it with you. Okay, so that's the sweet, the bundle I'm using today, Crafting With You. And it consists of this stamp set, which has 13 stamps. One, two, three, four greetings. And all the rest are fantastic imagery. So a little stamp and cut and emboss machine, sewing machine, wool, painting, an easel, and some little extra elements there. And the coordinating dies. Now they're fantastic. I'll take them out of the plastic so that you can see them a little bit better. Uh, there is our little paper trimmer. Let me show you what it looks like compared to our paper trimmer. So this is our paper trimmer here. Hello, those who are here to join me. Hello, Monica. It's lovely to see you. So this is our paper trimmer. It's a bit big to show in the in the um, in the camera, but this little one here is exactly like our paper trimmer. And then there are scissors. <coughs> Excuse me. The easel, a basket, sewing machine, little spools of wool, an embroidery hoop, and then all of the outlines for all of the imagery. Okay, so that's the introduction to all of the goodies. Now let me get your project ready for you. Make sure I've got everything out of it here. All right. Now I've used some new colours as well. Well, new again colours in our catalogue. <coughs> Excuse me, I'm very sorry. And yes, you do need to get this bundle. I have had so much fun creating with this bundle. It's really, really, if you're a crafty person, let's face it, you have to be a crafty person. Crafty person is the way to go. Um, this is a great bundle. Now I'm using Lemon Lime Twist. And I, this is sort of your standard card size, actually. So if you folded this in half, it would be a standard card size. But I've created a couple of extra score lines to create the little base there okay so I've scored it these two are exactly the same size these two pieces and I have made <coughs> another one that is slightly bigger um, here hang on I'll just get it for you to show you this one here is exactly the same but I've just made it slightly taller okay so that's this particular one is using bubble bath and it's exactly the same card but just slightly bigger okay so this one here with lemon lime twist is oops let me just start you off again you can use actually probably it would be better to use tear and tape for this it's something nice and strong it's just my favorite adhesive for using we're doing three-dimensional projects like this but that'll work just fine okay so there it is that's your basic card and I've got on the front of it some azure afternoon here and then whoops this 
some lemon lime twist for my stamping pieces. So these are my two stamping pieces. There's my little piece of designer series paper. There's my piece for my trimmer, which is the same color as the trimmer. This one goes on the back, the Azure Afternoon, just for inside my stamping piece. So let's pop this one on the middle of the back. There we go. How about we stamp now? So I need Life is Better When You're Crafting. And on the other side, sending you a handmade hug. And then also I need this tiny little heart here. This little cutie, just to add a little bit of interest. All right. And I'm using As Your Afternoon as well, the ink as well as the cardstock, coordinating beautifully together. Grab my stamping mat and pop that there. So life is better when you're crafting. How could it not be? Crafting is therapy. It is creativity and it helps others as it helps ourselves. It is everything. Okay, so that's my as your afternoon and then a little bit of berry burst for the heart because that's what we're about is sharing the love. How about we do a couple of hearts? There we are. And then on my piece for the back, I'm going to do sending you a handmade hug, which is what we do every time we send a card. We are sending a handmade hug to somebody in our lives who we enjoy spending time with or sharing our time with by spending time making cards for them. There we go. And that's all the stamping done. And I've got an extra bit of a dot because I had too much ink on my block. But I don't think that's going to detract too much from my work of art. After all, if it's too perfect, no one will know that I made it myself. Okay, let's put this, this one onto the front piece of Lemon Lime Twist. And then this one here onto the back of my card on the Azure Afternoon. There we go. Here's the back of my card done. Sending you a handmade hug. Now there's this one. And I'm going to put it over the side here on the right hand side so that I have room for my little trimmer that I'm going to put on the on the left there. So life is better when you're crafting. And I actually thought that I'd already cut this out before. So I apologize that you have to watch me do that. But it won't take me long with the little stamp cutting emboss machine. Okay. This one here and the base. There we go. Pop you on there. And you in there and then just wind that through. You can now purchase this boho blue machine. It's back in the customer online store as well. So if you want a really cute, portable, very easy to use cutting machine, it's now available in our online store. If you go to my store at Handmade by Julia Quinn, .stampinup.net, you'll be able to see it there. Okay, so there's our little trimmer. And I'm going to add in a little bit of the bright and beautiful designer series paper. So that looks like I'm trimming off that lovely paper. And I'll add my seal all over the back. Just glue the whole lot all together. This was one of the projects we had at my catalog launch last weekend. There you go, there's my trimmer. Now when this little guy here, I'm going to stick it on to a glue dot and then pop that onto my trimmer. There we go. Now it has the little little um, blade has a little groove in the middle. Looks just like our trimmer blade. There we go. And I had on this one, I had also put a solid gem on top of the trimmer which I might actually do with this one. 
but I was going to leave it because I love how the how the little blade looks. Would you like to see another project featuring this bundle? I made a whole series of bookmarks to share with my team featuring this bundle because it's a perfect little project for all your crafty friends. Let me show you. Here's my card that I shared with my team and in this one I'm using the Fresh as a Daisy designer series paper. I actually cut out the trimmer using white cardstock and then coloured the top and the bottom with the pebbled path marker, Stampin' Right marker, so that it looks more like the trimmer, as I showed you before, the white base and the pebbled path is exactly the same colour as the top and bottom of our trimmer. With the scissors, I cut out both pieces of the scissors using silver foil and then just coloured the handles using a black marker. So that was the basic designs for, for this little bookmark, which is also using the lovely Crafting With You bundle. The, actually, the corners of this tag were made using the Very Best Trio Punch as well, if you're interested. Thank you so much for joining me today. And I really think you should consider getting the life, uh, the Crafting With You bundle because it is the, the most fun, fantastic, great, useful set for you and your crafty friends. Bye-bye now and I'll see you next time. Thank you so much for joining me.